Hello guys, you're welcome back to my masterclass. If you're just joining us, you're welcome. My name is Mo King. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you the best free fonts for Premiere Pro, After Effects, Photoshop, DaVinci Resolve, whatever your editing software is, whether it's for graphics design or video editing. I'm going to be showing you the best free custom fonts that you can download. And I'll also be showing you how to install them into your device and apply them to your editing software. So before we dive into this tutorial, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel if you've not already done that. And don't forget to drop your feedbacks in the comment section. Please note that this font will work on any editing software, whether it's Photoshop, Corel Draw, Adobe Premiere Pro, After Effects, DaVinci Resolve, whatever editing software you're working with. But in this tutorial, I'm going to be making use of Adobe Premiere Pro for reference purposes. But basically, if you study this technique, you can apply this same technique to your own editing software and it's going to work just fine. So before I show you how to install the best fonts in 2022, let me go ahead and show you how to install fonts in general. So if you are used to editing, maybe you're using Premiere Pro, After Effects and your regular editing software, you would have noticed that the font types that come with your editing software are usually basic and look amateurish. So for example, if I come over here to File, I come down to New Legacy Title, and I move over to create new text, you will notice that the kind of text we have here in Premiere Pro are just basic text. And if you work with this, your projects are going to look amateurish to your clients. So please guys, do not use these free fonts in your projects. It's best you make use of the custom fonts that are available out there. So for you to get access to the custom fonts there are a lot of websites where you can get custom fonts from but i would love to show you the fonts the reason why i'm showing you the fonts is because it's very easy relatively easy and then they have a lot of categories of fonts so for example you can come over here to click on fancy fonts once you click on fancy you'll see fonts that look really really fancy so for example you can come over here and click on techno now, Techno refers to those square shape kind of fonts that you probably want to use. You can see the exact font that is used for the movie Avenger. You can see the exact font that is used for um, the movie Star Jedi. I think this is Star Wars. You can see other kind of fonts. Now, this is for digital. This is for um, Batman, the exact font used for Batman. You're not going to find this in your basic editing software font. You can see some amazing fonts over here. You can see the exact fonts that is used for transformers. So these fonts are created and designed for you. These are awesome fonts. You can also go over to other categories like, let me click on bitmap so you can see a few of these ones, what they look like. Okay, this looks kind of too scripts like to me. Um, so I, I'll just keep that. You can go ahead and select scripts. So if you're working on a project that you like the font, to look like a script you can see some other kind of fonts so now what i'm going to do is show you how to actually install these fonts into your pc lastly let me select one more category i'm thinking i should do okay so let me click on foreign look so you can see so you can see what this looks like this look like we have different countries we have arabic it's still English, but it's giving you the Arabic kind of font. Here we have the Gang of Three. It looks like a character kind of font. So basically, you want to select font that matches what you are working with. I kind of like this font, so maybe we should just work with this font. So I'll just go ahead and click on Download. And I'm downloading that right now. So let me get like a couple of fonts that we can use. Okay, I've gotten that. Let me. Let me select horror. Thank you. 
So you can see that we have horror text for horror kind of projects that you are working on. You don't want to use the regular fonts for every project you are working on. So I'm just going to install this also, Watcher. I'm going to install these zombies. I'm going to install one more, Night of the Terror. So I'll just go ahead and show in folder, copy all of them, hit on Ctrl X, and then I'll just select where I want them to be saved. I have a folder for fonts here. I'll just paste them over here. So I have them here, CF, Knights of Terror, Watcher, Zenzai, and Zombie. Now to install them into your editing software, the first thing you want to do is to install them into your PC. So I'm just going to double click on the font. And once I've done that, you can see the true type font here. This one that has like a text on it, all you need to do is to double click on it and hit install. And automatically it has installed on your PC. So I'll just go back and select the other ones, the watcher here. So there are many files over here, but you want to select the one that shows an alphabet A. So that is the one you double click and hit install. I'm going to go back and do that to the other fonts. Here I have three fonts. Select install select install and automatically guys these fonts are already installed into our pc now it's time for us to install them into our editing software whether it's after effects Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, Photoshop, Corel Draw, whatever it is. Now, the problem right now is that Premiere Pro is already opened on my PC. And because of that, if I come over to where I have my graphics, my fonts, I won't be able to find them there. So if I come over here, I click on New Legacy Title, and I try to type a text right now. Let's say I want to write free fonts. and I search for any of those texts, I'm not going to find them because Premiere Pro has not yet recognized that there are changes to the fonts I have in my PC. So what you need to do at this moment is to save whatever project you are working on and close your editing software. So once you do that, all you need to do is to reopen your editing software. Let me increase this. So now I'm just going to go ahead and create a new text. So whatever way you use to add graphics in your editing software remains the same. The only difference is that now you have added new custom fonts. So I'm just going to go ahead and write a text here that says free fonts. So let me go ahead and increase this so you can see better. Free fonts. So I'm going to select my font here and come over here to change my font. All right, guys, so this is the first one, Zombies Reborn. Automatically, you will notice that it has created that font. So I might just change this to red since it is a horror font. Let me go ahead and change this now to one of the other ones we have created. I take this Zenzai is part of it. And this is what it looks like. Changing this to white. You can see what this looks like. So let me check the other fonts we added. Um, so we have the Watcher and the CF Knights of Terror. So I'll just go ahead and scroll down to CF Knights of Terror.
and you can see what it looks like it looks like a horror font and basically guys that's how to download and install a custom font into your pc and into your editing software so right now guys the next thing i'll be showing you is the best free fonts to use in 2022 now there's a lot of free fonts that are created every day by a lot of creators so for you to get those you just need to go over to your browser and just type best free fonts 2022 and you'll be greeted with a lot of options so you can see this already let me open this in another tab so you can see the top 10 best free font designers 50 best for 2022 100 best free fonts 2022 100 best free font 2022 23 and these designs are amazing they are really really amazing guys so you can just download them use the same technique and you will love what they look like okay so let me try another site like this open this in a new tab and you can see what this looks like this is really creative and this is really genius for any of your projects you can see what they look like here they are awesome you don't want to do the regular anymore you want to stand out i would suggest you stop using the basic parts that come with your editing software and jump right into any of these awesome fonts that come so they are very easy to download all you need to do is to select any of them go over to the website and once you are in the website you will see the free download Using the same technique, you download them, you install them, restart your editing software, and immediately you'll find these graphics in your editing software. So whether it's Premiere Pro, After Effects, Photoshop, Corel Draw, whatever it is, you want to be making use of the best and the latest fonts in 2022. Thank you guys for watching this video to the end. I hope you found this tutorial very useful. If you did, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to drop your feedbacks in the comment section. Thank you very much, guys.